Well, we are in front of uh, Gök Bay and attack two helicopters. First, I want to start with uh, Gök Bay because it has the TS-1400 engine. This is an engine that you also already know as well. Yeah. So, can you tell us what brings this engine, what brings to Gök Bay? What is the advantage of using that indigenous Turkish engine? Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start with um, Gök Bay project. Uh, it's an indigenous development project, a helicopter development project, which started in uh, uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. Right after, like a couple of years after, uh, the, uh, the TS-1400 project also started in 2017. Uh, and the idea is we uh, wanted to make sure that everything in this platform is made, designed, produced indigenously. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, Gökbe started with an uh, American engine, mm -hmm. and we are producing with that, but in parallel with those efforts, we wanted to make sure that uh, the engine um, is also developed indigenously, and we don't have any issue mm -hmm. when we want to export, because um, these engines are uh, high-tech, mm -hmm. uh, can be used for both military and uh, civil applications, mm -hmm. so it is like a dual use, and uh, you need to get a permission or export license from the manufacturing country. Which company's product are we talking this about? This is uh, um, uh, the, the Rolls Royce uh, company, uh, product of, of or, or, um, Honeywell and Rolls Royce, uh, and Rolls -Royce company. Mm -hmm. uh, so you need to get uh, export license yeah. when you want to sell it to any country. Okay. Is it a civilian version of what we have at uh, T129? It's, pre it's pretty much the same engine mm -hmm. because it is uh, what's called du dual use. Mm -hmm. So you can get same engine, you can use it in attack helicopter, which is military yes. platform, or you can use in Gökbe, which is a civilian platform. Or but the difference is on the FIDEC, I believe. Fi uh, there are small differences, uh, right. which is trivial compared to entire, uh, you know, engine. You know, so um, uh, I have worked for in both platforms. In my previous role, I was uh, the director for the uh, TS 1400 uh, pl uh, engine development program, uh, and uh, we we made a we made a, a, a good progress in those years. And then today, we are collecting the fruits of those developments. Right. Um, this is really a, an important moment for Turkish aviation industry. It is basically stating, it's a statement, a bold statement that we, Turkey, now can produce platform as well as the engine, yeah. and we can integrate them, yeah. and then we can fly them. This is what we demonstrated two weeks ago. So right. this is very, very important progress. Uh, there are still work has to be performed mm -hmm. to make sure that it is certified, and it is uh, entirely, uh, you know, all the bugs uh, are out, debugged, all the development uh, issues are solved, but uh, we are at a peak now that we can see what is in front of us. Right. That, that was a really big moment. And we passed it so quickly because we were, you know, uh, flying uh, Gök Bey, uh, I'm sorry, uh, flying uh, Hürjet, flying Attack 2, and in the meantime, we also flew the engine, uh, uh -huh. the Gök Bey, yeah. with the indigenous engines, which alone itself is a big development. So you know the TS-1400 engine from, the, from its roots? Yes. So, and you know the Gök Bey. Yes. So where can we go from here? And as you know, as you said, we have a momentum where we can see the, for our future. I mean, uh, we can definitely use uh, this engine for Gök Bey mm -hmm. because we want to, we will, we will produce Gök Bey in hundreds, right. hundreds, and yeah. we are waiting for this engine. We can use the same engine for different platform, like a, a attack platform mm -hmm. or similar to attack platform that we are developing. You know, it's also indigenous platform which will be um, talking about in a 629. Are we talking? 629, basically. So we will, we will use the same drive line of uh -huh. Gök Bey on 629. This one fits into 129 in fact, but you don't want to use there due uh, to the other commercial and certification problems, I the, suppose. The, 
technically we can use it, but it is better for us not to use it, upgrade that uh, platform, which were a different one, 629, 629 which is entirely our platform. platform. Drivetrain, transmission, rotor, everything is ours. So, okay, so we have Attack 2, and you are talking about something between Attack 2 and Attack 1, yes. 629. What 629 will have then? The, the, we, we are not going to stop uh, producing 129. It's a very good p platform. Sure. Everybody likes, lo loves it. They, they want to buy it. Then we, whoever wants to buy it, we will uh, you know, sell it. Yes. But there are co countries we cannot get the uh, export license for the engine. Right. We cannot get certain uh, sub components or subsystems of attack, right. which is a, you know, uh, it's a co um, shared or um, how do you say co-product uh, co, uh, co of I Italian company uh, um, with some other uh, Leonardo Leonardo, yes. uh, and the Turkish Aerospace. So there are like a work share of, on, of for yes. both. But there are uh, subsystems that we have to buy, let's say, from America, mm -hmm. the engine. Right. And we cannot sell it, for example, to Pakistan. Pakistan. So if you develop everything indigenously, which we are planning in 629, name it 629. then, then you can sell it. You can sell it. It's a, then you are free to decide who to sell, who not to sell. So mostly I understand 629 will be a modified version of 129, in fact, with Turkish indigenous products mostly, not something bigger, to, bigger class. Uh, it will have a, a bigger MTO mm -hmm. because attack is 5 ton. Yes. We are going to go with the 6 ton. So it will be like a Roy Fault or some other... Yes, something in, the, in, a, in that uh, class. Yes. So, uh, so it will have uh, upgraded avionics, upgraded uh, uh, mission computers and uh, everything. So it will have a more m more range. More payload uh, capacity. More payload. Uh, so, uh, and whenever we need, we can set it. So it will be not exactly the same as attack. Right. It will be a little bit. Upper upgraded version of it. Of ice. Of Thank you very much. And we can offer both uh, with those with both engines, basically. Right. You know. And can we, from your experience from TAI, I'm asking, can we uh, expand uh, TS 1400 to something bigger? Well, it will depend on T, mm -hmm. which uh, currently uh, the engine design for uh, you know set for 1400. But we know that uh, there is a, a room to increase the power ratings <coughs> of the engine. This room is, this, this engine is suitable for that? Point. Yes, so uh, w once you have that room, it will take some, some time to reach Get there, yeah. but we can definitely work with the TI team to ma make sure that what we can offer in, in, in terms of increased MTO, mm -hmm. which uh, companies are doing that, like uh, from six ton to six and a half ton, even up to seven ton, so the same platform, a little bit tuned engine, you can offer more MTO. What about Attack 2? Oh, that's a, a small beast. <laughs> yes. It's Attack a, it's 2 a, it's is a 10 ton class. It's actually, class it's class. a little more than that 11 ton. Uh, you know, 11 ton okay. It's 11 ton class. Uh, it has, uh, you know, uh, except engine, mm -hmm. it's ours. Right. We can directly say that it's ours. Nothing from, uh, from outside for that platform. Uh, when we start delivering those in inshallah in 25, 26 time frame, mm -hmm. it will be totally indigenous, including the engine. And I'm going to say engine because we are currently working with uh, yeah. Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian yes. motors, uh, uh, switch motors switch company yes. Yes. to produce those engines locally in Turkey. Oh, yeah, that's new. So there is a uh, work going on between yes. Turkey and Ukraine to produce yes. motor six engines in Turkey. Exactly. This is it's an ongoing process. It is not decided or agreed yet, right. but we are working Discussion. towards this goal, towards this goal. In principle, both sides agree. Hmm. We are discussing the, the mechanics of it, how, when, when we are going to do that. So, if it, so it will be totally, again, indigenous, made here, made here, and we can use wherever we need. If we use Ukrainian motor six engine here,
that won't be indigenous, that will be locally made, maybe. I, I will. It's not, the design is not going to be ours. All right. Because it was designed yes, over there. Obviously, yes. uh, we are going to upgrade that engine. Ah, okay. Upgrade that engine. But it will be uh, produced under the license of Ukraine or mm -hmm. Motor Switch here. So it is like a half, halfway in between. So do you think that we will have some uh, limitations, export limitations in anything like that? Uh, we expect. In, 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 technically, it's possible. Yes. Uh, but we don't expect any such limitation that we are seeing with the other engines mm -hmm. uh, because Ukraine and Turkey has a strategic partner and since it was manufactured and we're gonna set those rules and regulations such that uh, we will have the independence right. not just to use for our need also sell to certain countries right. friendly and allies, uh, allies yeah. co countries what will be the main difference between 129 and 929 Attack 2, oh. when we talk about the mission. Okay, so Attack has, uh, you know, different uh, phases, phase 1, phase 2, yes. with different mission computers, uh, electronics, wa warfare, uh, and then uh, pretty limited, when I say limited, compared to Attack 2, limited, uh, um, uh, limited payload. Payload. Like a 350-ish kilo, uh, kilogram payload mm -hmm. in Attack, versus Attack 2 has uh, 1500 yes so huge difference ton and a, uh, and a half yeah. it has uh, high speed capabilities at uh, higher elevations mm -hmm. uh, it has more electronic warfare already embedded it will have uh, those things and uh, it will have uh, uh, protection capabilities such as uh, armored uh, glasses Glass. yes. armored cockpit yes and uh, lots of uh, to, to protect the electronics as well as the pilots, of course. But what will be the main mission difference between 129 and 929? Because 129 is lighter when we compare to tank class, at 11 ton helicopter. Yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, as I said, uh, the electronic warfare will be totally different and upgraded. Right. Uh, the, the range will be uh, more, farther. Yes. Uh, the payload is like three times, mm -hmm. four times almost, mm -hmm. of attack. So, that means instead of sending one to four attack, you are sending one attack to. Right. Basically. Okay. To, to do the same no job. There will be no other different kind of mission then. No. It I will mean be just d dealing the same mission. Yeah. Uh, and oh, we will have also Mildar, like millimetric mm -hmm, radar, yes. so it will have more range, the, or um, the the, the uh, how can I say? Uh, we don't have to go to, into battlefield as close as we are going with attack. Right. Uh, it's going to stay out of the uh, battlefield mm -hmm. with the radar and the, uh, the ammunition or uh, rockets and the missiles. It will have more capability to hit a target beyond the range. When you say Mildar, we, we, we know from uh, Apache uh, yeah. uh, the longbow on the top yeah. of the uh, rotor craft. Mm -hmm. uh, where will you put the, we will put the same place? Same place. Yeah, same place. I mean, we, are, we have different options. Mm -hmm. Different options. Uh, but uh, one of the most likely places is going to be on the top. And you don't plan to have in 129 the Mildar? Because it was we do, once upon a we time, do, but we, we do, we do, we do, we do, we do, but it will be, uh, it's not decided as we speak, because uh, depending on which way we are going to go with uh, 629, mm -hmm. we may or may not choose to in integrate those uh, capabilities in the attack one, Mm -hmm. directly go to 629. Right. So I I it's like a give and take and we, we are working on it. These are all manned helicopters. Yes. Do we talk about, do, is there any unmanned helicopter oh, yeah. Yeah. that you are dealing with? We have uh, small cargo helicopters right. that we are dealing with and we are collaborating with our UAV department in right. there because they know how to uh, make unmanned yes. and we know how to make helicopters. Right. So. We bring these uh, expertise together mm -hmm. and we will have much better uh, platforms. We're going to convert existing small helicopters as we speak, mm -hmm. uh, the smaller one. We are not convert, but we make one. Uh, but we will be working in the near future uh, a family of uh, helicopters, unmanned helicopters, designed from scratch for that purpose instead of unmanning the existing ones. That is the goal that we have because once we do that, it will have much better capabilities 
and it will have a much better platform for that purpose. Thank you very much for your explanations.